Hi folks, welcome to Mox C Gaming Channel. If you've been looking for Valzerk Monsters and Lands Unknown tier list, then your search ends here. This tier list guide is pretty useful, especially for those that are new to Valzerk Monsters and Lands Unknown. With that in mind, in today's video I have prepared the Valzerk Monsters and Lands Unknown list and reroll guide, so be sure to watch it all. Alright, let's get ready bench and start today's video. I should note is that, in the early stages, we recommend a well-balanced sword character and a spear character that can easily sharpen the break gauge, since the axe is like a tank that receives attacks, it has a low priority in the early stages, and staff characters can produce firepower, but the defensive aspect remains uneasy, so it is not recommended in the early stages. Well, let's talk about S tier first. Till. Weapon Type Sword, Class Wind, it is easy to reduce the gauge with both skills and OD. OD is also excellent in that it can be wrapped in a tornado. Hearts is easy to activate tap attack firepower increase. It is easy to generate firepower without using skills. Luna. Weapon type axe. Class fire. Hearts that activate when HP drops. Weapon types that are susceptible to damage are excellent compatibility. Skills generate shockwaves plus easily reduce the gauge. OD has high damage and does damage even when burned. Lushed. Weapon type spear. Class fire. Hearts are easy to activate and can increase firepower. Skills are easy to charge the enemy plus reduce the gauge. Useful when closing the distance with the enemy. OD has a wide attack range and high damage. Farasha. Weapon type mage. Class water. Hearts increase the critical rate. Skills track enemies and easily reduce the gauge. OD generates tornadoes and continuous damage to touched enemies. Even OD is easy to reduce the gauge and is powerful. Next, let's talk about A tier, Kakashka. Weapon type sword, class fire. There are a lot of constantly activated fire power up. Heart's right flick skill also increases fire power. Both skills and OD deal damage to the front. Excellent balance between damage and gauge reduction. Natsuki. Weapon type axe, class nothing. Hearts are easy to activate and can increase firepower. Skills can be blown away to increase distance. OD generates a spinning attack and shock wave. Kirchi. Weapon type spear. Class nothing. Easy to use skills with SP specific passives. Excellent skills that are easy to handle with ranged attacks. Good balance between damage and gauge reduction. OD has high damage plus can reduce HP when poisoned. Van. Weapon type spear. Class wind. Hearts are activated when switching. Skills are range attacks that can attack in all directions. OD blows away with a shock wave after charging. It is also excellent that it is easy to reduce the gauge. Quinn. Weapon type spear. Class water. Hearts always activates critical up. Skills generate shock waves after attacking the opponent with a time lag. Expand the field with OD and easily reduce the gauge. Leta. Weapon type mage. Class thunder. When HP is 80% or more, fires a beam that can be manipulated forward with heart skill. It deals high damage and can attack from a far excellent balance of. And then, B tier, Aria. Weapon type sword. Class thunder. Defensive hearts activated by lightning character formation. Skill is a forward attack with high damage. OD drops lightning in a wide range and deals great damage. Near. Weapon type sword. Class water. Hearts are easy to activate and defensive. Skills are high damage attacks and a wide range in front. OD is range attack plus range continuous damage after attack. Tori. Weapon type axe. Class water. Hearts increase HP that is easy to activate. Skills attack forward and deal great damage. Attack in a wide range forward with OD plus freeze the opponent. Vesta. Weapon type axe. Class Thunder. Hearts increase the firepower that is activated by break or destroying weak points. Skills have a pull effect and can close the distance, especially effective against opponents who run away. OD develops a field that deals continuous damage. Agma. Weapon type Mage. Class Nothing. Hearts increase the firepower of flick skills. Skill blows away and high damage. Blow away is particularly excellent and can keep distance. OD has high damage and is powerful. Tita. Weapon type mage. Class fire. Hearts are easy to activate and are defensive. Skills are high damage attacks at close range. OD is range attack plus range continuous damage after attack. Finally, let's talk about C tier. Zion. 
Weapon Type Sword, Class Nothing, Hearts are difficult to activate when HP is 50% or less. The skill is also effective for closing the distance with a rush attack. OD is self-strengthening and tap attacks are strengthened for a certain period of time. Gurkhoff. Weapon Type Axe. Class Wind. Hearts are difficult to handle when an ally dies. Skills generate tornadoes and deal well-balanced damage. OD generates huge tornadoes and easily cuts the gauge. Sinan. Weapon Type Spear. Class Thunder. Hearts are easy to activate and have a defensive effect. Skills can attack long distances and deal high damage. OD can attack a wide range and is excellent against multiple opponents. Kalmia. Weapon Type Mage. Class Wind. Hearts are difficult to handle when an ally dies. Skills can attack from a long distance and deal high damage. OD can also attack from a long distance. Is there a reroll element in Monster Universe? The answer is no. However you still could delete all data and back to the loading screen if you don't unsatisfied with the character you choose. Follow my perform, launch Monster Universe on your device and log in as a guest. You can select a 4 star character for free by progressing through the tutorial and after completing chapter 4. However, you can only get one 4 star character for free, so choose carefully if you don't have to pay. At this stage, you can check the stats of all the selected characters before selecting them, so check the stats of the characters you care about before selecting them. Characters that were not selected for free acquisition can also be purchased by charging. Finally, if you manage to choose the character you want, you can bind an account. It goes without saying that the above list reflects the Mox Gaming Channel's opinions. While I recommend picking the S-tier characters, you are urged to use the ones you are comfortable with. This allows you to explore new options and master every character in Valzerk, Monsters and Lands Unknown, and wish you all luck for taking the victory through your battles, and I'll leave the timestamps down in the description. Don't forget to follow, like and share. Thank you for watching this video.